how are you i am hoping you guys are doing great and from this lecture we are going to discuss about to how to automate about the automation to be more specific using numpy right so i am going to take an example and after that we will see how to solve the example using basic logic and at the end we will discuss how to solve the same example but with numpy's and build function okay so let's jump into it so here you can see i have created a new notebook and inside that i am importing my numpy okay i'm importing numpy as np and after that what i'm going to do i am going to create an a list for this point of time and what i'm going to do i'm defining some of the numbers here okay 6 7 8 9 and 10 these are the numbers that i have defined now what i'm going to do next i'm going to uh, make a program that will tell me how many elements are there in a list which are more than 5 how many elements are there which are more than 5 for that purpose what should be the basic step that i need to follow if i am not using numpy array so the step is going to be i'll go for for i in list means i'll go for each and every element from the list and i'll check if that particular element is greater than 5 i'll count that particular variable a uh, variable i am deletionizing a counter with zero every time i found the value more than 5 i'll increase that particular counter and at the end i am printing that particular counter and here you can see there are five values 1 2 3 4 five values which are more than 5 which is 6 7 8 9 10 this is the basic process that we are following earlier right but what if we want to do this in just numpy arrays so let's see what is the process to do the same with numpy array so what i am going to do i am taking this particular list but i am converting this into a numpy array this time np dot array i am taking the same named as lst so if i am printing lst this is the array that i am having so what i am going to do now i am going to write something like this okay colon okay this is the process like what we are going to do we are going to uh, make a equation which will uh, means we are going to define the equation in just particular line in just one line okay so how we are going to do it like if i am writing lst greater than 50 or greater than 5 and execute it so here you can see it is returning you me few things and what are those things those things are true and false the shape of the array is going to be the same like here i am having 10 elements and here i am having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 elements here as well now what is the difference the difference is going to be like in the first five elements are false next five elements are true that means wherever the value is more than 5 those values are true wherever values are less than 5 those are false clear so this is a very very simple process how we can automate the process using numpy okay and how to find all those elements earlier how we can find the element what we are going to do rather than printing the counter we are going to print that element as well so these are going to be the element which are more than 5 right 6 7 8 9 10 and 5 is printed at the end which is this queue means total uh, five elements are there but if i'm talking about this process what i can do all i need to write is lst bracket open bracket close execute it and you will get all the elements which are more than 5 that's how easy it is because what this is are doing this will tell you uh which are true which are false and if i am passing this through the original list what it will do wherever in uh, in whichever index we are having true we will print that value wherever i am having uh, false i will not print those values so this is the basic approach means whatever we are doing here same thing we can do here as well to find uh, all the elements which are more than 5 now you might think how to find the length of all the elements means how many elements are there this is displaying you all the elements but how many elements are these so for that purpose what i can do i can write len in front of it and execute it and we will get to know about the length of them as well we are having total five elements which are more than five and those elements are something called as 5 6 7 8 9 mm -hmm. right so this is something that you can do like i am printing those elements and after that i am printing that particular list as well 
So we are having total five elements and those elements are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Earlier I need to write the logic by our own, but here I just need to define one line. Define in one line if we are working on numpy arrays. And this is how easy it is. And this is why we are using numpy arrays instead of using list because they are much faster than uh, much faster than list as well. Now we are having one more question like uh, if I want to know how many elements are there which are fully divisible by uh, let's take three. Uh, so to check about it, all we need to do is just change the condition. Fully divisible by three means which will give me a remainder of zero. Means if I'm dividing all those values by three, they should give me a remainder of zero, right? If they are giving me a remainder of zero, that means they are divisible by it. Otherwise, they are not divisible by it. So let's go for it and check what is the output. And here you can see three six nine are the number of uh, three six nine are the elements which are fully divisible by three. And earlier, what we need to do, we need to take each and every element, check if that is divisible by it or not. If it is divisible, I need to print one thing. If it is not divisible, I need to print another thing. So this is the very basic process that we can follow here. Okay. So uh, element divisibility is something that we can use here. And uh, similarly, we can also, let's suppose if you are having a NumPy array with the names. Okay. Uh, like uh, we are having some grocery item or we are having, let's suppose some, uh, 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 let's suppose marks or, or anything we are having in terms of categories or in terms of strings. So what we can do, we can use this thing. We can use very simple approach, which will return me at which particular index I am having that particular name or that particular value, right? If that particular value is there, it will print true. Otherwise it will print false. And if we are defining it, within this particular range, which is nothing but the original list, it will return you all the indexing or all the rows where you are having that particular value true. So this is pretty much it about how to automate the things or using basic processing is in, in NumPy, right? And this is very powerful as well as compared to list, they are much faster, means they are multiple times faster as compared to list. So that is why they are uh, using more often. So yes, this is pretty much it. If you're having any doubt so far, you can ask us in the discussion or uh, comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lecture. So let's summarize whatever we have done so far. So whatever we have done, uh, we have just created a list. After that, we have uh, made a logic using for loop. We are checking how many elements are there, which, which are more than five. We are also find the frequency of it. Once we have found those frequency and elements, after that, what we are doing, we are using the same process, but now we are using a NumPy array instead of using a list. Once that is used, after that, what we are going to do, we are going to use a very simple one line approach to do the same thing using NumPy. So that's how easy it is. So yes, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care then.